The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Good evening, everyone. Tracking some isolated showers yet again this Thursday evening. Uh, Lynchburg and parts of Amherst County dealing with some big time rain right now, diving into parts of Campbell County at this moment. Also impacting areas of Forest and Timber Lake here. Uh, some really, really heavy pockets of rain building through, but some much needed rain. I don't think any of us will be complaining about that as it's been fairly dry uh, for a very, very long time. I will uh, be showing you a, an update of the drought monitor here in just a couple of minutes, but all of the moisture that passed through this morning has dove to the south. And so that is the cold front uh, currently uh, impacting parts of the Carolinas, bringing in severe thunderstorm watch and warning. Notice how messy that is in future casts. Let's uh, bring it back home here. Going to attract some isolated showers continuing throughout the rest of the evening. Lynchburg could possibly see yet another shower before uh, midnight tonight. Once we get into tomorrow morning, we'll turn mostly clear. A little bit cloudy out towards the east thanks to some residual moisture, so possibly waking up tomorrow morning with some patchy fog across parts of the Hill City and out towards the east. Temperatures out there right now not too shabby in the mid to upper 70s across uh, a lot of our neighborhoods. Lexington just updated there at 68 degrees thanks to a passing shower. 84 here in Roanoke, 83 down in Martinsville, Independence at 74. How does the air feel? Well, those of us who aren't seeing rain, Dew point is a little bit tolerable out there. It can be muggy at times as some of us are sitting right around the 70 degree mark, but otherwise not too bad. All right, this evening going to continue to say mostly cloudy. Then we'll turn partly cloudy uh, shortly after sunset. Temperatures still declining down into the mid 70s by 11 p.m. And then we'll actually get back down into the 60s just about everywhere. Some spots will see the upper 50s and the NRB first thing tomorrow morning. The Highlands will be around 63 degrees. Roanoke Lynchburg South Side anywhere from 66 to 68. High temperatures for tomorrow not going to be too hot. 81 for Withville, 86 for Roanoke and Bedford, 89 Alta Vista, a couple of upper 80s, possibly a 90 sprinkled in there, uh, just depending on the cloud cover. All right, because what we're tracking over the next several days is low pressure just looming and staying right in this area of the middle, middle parts of the country. High pressure to our south and east is going to be funneling in moisture from the Gulf of Mexico. So we're going to be tracking rain chances uh, later tomorrow. They're going to be isolated, but primarily Saturday and Sunday, the rain chances are pretty, pretty high. So let's have a look at future tracker rainfall. Uh, estimates through this weekend are going to be anywhere from about a quarter of an inch all the way up to an inch in some areas. Notice Danville down there, uh, just over an inch of rain uh, possible throughout Monday at midnight. All right, here is that recent update to the drought monitor. Severe uh, drought has expanded well into the NRV, the Highlands, and into parts of the south side. But notice we're getting a lot of rain recently, and we're expecting more rain to come, especially in the next seven days as cloud cover and that stationary front remains in place. So hopefully those drought-like conditions improve come this time next week. John.